By the end of this video, you should be able to insert photos or images into text inside Canva. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are. So let's begin by creating a new design. Uh, let's say you want to create a YouTube thumbnail. So let's begin with that. Uh, we just want to do a thumbnail, but of text uh, where we actually place photos inside the text. So uh, the first thing we need to do is write the text. But uh, instead of adding the text the normal way by either pressing T and adding a headline and whatnot, what we need to do, we'll need to use elements. The elements where we have letters, and this is more or less like uh, the frames option. So if you scroll down slightly inside Canva, you'll see frames. Uh, you can just click on see all and then keep scrolling down uh, to the bottom. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going until you get to the point where you see the letters. So let's assume uh, you want to write uh, probably the word Safari. What will you do? Just drag uh, the letters uh, that you want to add or create the text with into uh, your canvas here. Just drag and drop them. Safari. We'll just uh, resize this in a few so that it fits uh, properly. RI. You've probably been on a safari somewhere in Africa. Uh, I. Where is the I? Right here. And you want to create a thumbnail for your videos. So just drag this across drag this across uh, and we can actually just start resizing just resize that resize that so what I'm doing is I'm just uh, letting this remain the same and then just resize these smaller ones so there we go there we go there we go I believe uh, this one might be a little bit off there we go. This one might be a little bit off. So somewhere there. Then put it somewhere there. Uh, you can just adjust using the arrow keys slightly. So pull it there. Put this one here. And this one here. So we have the word Safari in form of a frame. Uh, but let's assume now you want to add images right inside here. So what we need to do is just go and check out some photos. So my assumption is what photos will you take probably uh, when you're on a safari in Africa for, for, this, for this matter? You'll take probably photos of lions, elephants, zebras, uh, giraffes, etc. So let's begin uh, with the king of the jungle. Let's look for a lion's photo. Either this one or this one. Let's see. When you hold the photo, drag it onto the word that you want. For example, the, the letter S. So once you do that, it actually automatically populates inside that word. If you click on this, you can edit the image. For example, you may need to crop this. Let's say we need to move it slightly to this side so that we get the eyes slightly popping. There we go. And then click on done. We see the eyes properly. That looks really good. Uh, let's say we also want to have some elephants. Elephants. Uh, let's see what we get from this result. Uh, probably go with this one and then just keep populating. We can also crop this one. Just move this slightly uh, somewhere right there. You see the eye there and the trunk somewhere there. Just click on done. Looks good. Uh, next up, we can do buffaloes. Uh, some of this might be paid for. So remember, I'm still on the free version, but I'm showing you that you can still do it on the free. Just bring in a buffalo. That looks good. Uh, let's look for maybe a giraffe or a cheetah. Let's go for a cheetah. This one looks good. We can just crop this. Actually, let's just crop. Pull this back in slightly. 
need to get the eye somewhere it's looking really good just click on done uh, what else let's look for a rhino let's assume you visited one of those places where they still have rhinos uh, let's say we go with this one uh, looking good and then let's go with maybe a giraffe uh, let's see uh, let's drag this one inside here so that one looks a little bit cheeky I'm not sure it would fit really well but uh, we might just replace it with this one here we go let's just hover over here looking good it's actually peeping inside then we can just drag it slightly right there done so that's uh, your word safari uh, one thing we might need to do we might need to tidy up this text so that it fits correctly you can just copy this text and then click on position and then click on tidy up if I click on tidy up it's going to even out things uh, correctly and there we go things have been spaced out a little bit uh, looking good I believe so we have our background uh, it's still in white you can decide to add an image or something of that sort or even change the color let's uh, change if we change to black what do we get we get something really good uh, that you might like that's not good let's say we go with a black one as your thumbnail for for your videos safari so you see how easy and applicable it is when you're creating thumbnails that is just putting photos inside text inside canva now i wish it was a little bit simpler where you can actually just uh take your text type your text and if you just wanted to use one image just place it inside your text without doing uh a lot of repetitive tasks like adding different images but this is also good because you can customize your image the way you want it to look and feel so uh, i believe that this video will help you see how you can use the knowledge you learn to put photos or images into text thanks for watching my name is david until next time stay safe and never stop learning